it's a great day, and, and, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Ryan is our this great day marks yet another big step for Beaver Athletics at Minas State University. The groundbreaking for the final phase of the Herb Parker Stadium renovations, a project that's been ongoing for over three years, is starting to come to fruition. In the summer of 2010, we installed field turf and installed new lighting. That was phase one. In the summer of 2011, uh, we installed new seating. And uh, that was the second phase. Now in summer of 2013, we'll begin construction on the new press box facility. This will be a, a approximately 16,000 square foot facility in three levels. This $4 million project is a capstone to transforming the atmosphere at Herb Parker helping in recruiting for the Beavers and aiding in the experience for sports fans all over the area. It's not extravagant, but it's going to be workable and, and uh, really, I think, transform a lot of our game day experiences and what we're doing on game day. I think it, it'll be fun for our fans. The first two phases of the transformation okay. were paid for by the school. The third phase will now be funded by the city of Minot. After initial pushback, MSU got the support it needed to make this day finally happen through the Community Facilities Fund. But it has been sort of a tough, tough road. I think that the uh, City Council, I think the Legislature, I, I certainly thank uh, the State Board of Higher Education and the support that they had. I mean, there's so many, so many levels we have to go through to, to get a complex like this approved, and we got it done. And this occasion today provides a wonderful opportunity to reflect on the past, but also to uh, look forward to a very bright future. When all is said and done, Minot will be the location of the state-of-the-art complex, complete with instant replay, an addition that was privately funded by sponsors, making Herb Parker the envy of the region and something many can be proud of. The most beautiful field in, in uh, upper Midwest. This will be definitely a, a facility that our, our community and our campus can be proud of.